Um, for police records, please provide your relationship to the case or incident. Defendant, yeah. Uh, this may be determine the extent of the records available to you. Right. And then I would provide this citation number. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the allegation of violating the restraint provisions. Yes. Even though I wasn't there. Right. And then if it's the prosecuting attorney's office and the police never investigated the crime. Mm-hmm. Is there a public record of the two-count criminal complaint where... Is it a summons, is it a subpoena, or is it a notice of court hearings? I think it's a subpoena if you use a criminal complaint, yes. I think it's a notice mm -hmm. if it's a court hearing where you've already been to court, yes. And it could be a summons if it's civil. Pooch. Now, I could be wrong on this, okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, I could spend the next hour going through the Black's Law Dictionary, getting the actual definition of all three of them. <laughs> Or we could say using a criminal complaint, yes, without any investigation from a sheriff or police department, even though I'm named as a defendant, exactly what records does a sheriff's department have? You don't have any, do you? Mm -mm. You have no uh, actual written statement from myself, yes. You have no police or sheriff's department having investigated me on where I was at, um, June 16th of 2017. I go there and you say, well, we don't have anything. Well, why did you have me arraigned? Now, let's say I wanted to make $100 billion today. Why don't you get me all the public records requests? Yes. Of every police department, every sheriff's department? Yes. And then I'd like to know when you determine, yes, when the extent of the records is available to the individual. Poop. Because I think the Squim Washington right now, I would like it very much. Exactly when is it that the police department has the right to deprive the defendant, uh, the defendant yes, of any of the actual records of the case? <laughs> now, um, when... Are you going to enforce my rights? <laughs> and uh, for me to go to the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office, um, suggested search terms, additional information, assist response, name, mailing address, homeless, yes. Uh, limitation of the use of commercial purposes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Person requesting the record intends that the list will be used to communicate with the individual's name in the record for the purpose of facilitating profit expecting activity. Mm -hmm. Is a lawsuit considered profit expecting? Because I'm absolutely sure 